Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. All right, so it's war. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is war number 12, last war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Zanakan Abyss. I have no idea if I said that correctly. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see who they've banned. Ooh, I like y'all already. You didn't ban Gallon. Hercules, Hercules. All right, let's see who they have on defense. See what they got planned for us for this last war. Oh, ugh. Don't nobody want to fight him? Ugh. All right, well... I don't think he gets, oh, and they put him, he's a planetary uh, endurance defender too, so he can't be nullified. Oh, they're evil. Okay, yeah. Okay, huh. and long shot. I see why they, they um, banned uh, Human Torch. Wow. All right, and then, uh, hmm, Bishop. This is interesting. I don't know. I don't think I've had to face them before on that. Of course, this is a, uh, um, Nebula. Yeah. Huh. And this guy, I guess Claire could do it too. All right, let me see. Man, I'm going to have to uh, talk this over with them to see who's a good option uh, for these fights. Huh. I guess, I mean, it can Gallon? Gallon might still be able to do that fight. Right now, um, Align's quest is down, so I could also bring in uh, Nick Fury. He's usually in uh, Align's quest. Hmm. And as for this one, it would have to be Overseer or... Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Spider-Man 2099, Titania. That's a that's an interesting one. We'll have to talk about this one. I know Nebula easy for uh these two here. Definitely uh that's a Nebula setup, but this one, hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll have to uh, formulate a plan as to who I'm going to bring in. I do have a little bit of freedom, so just need to know who's going to be a good one for who. Um, that bishop. That can be a pain. So I can take Silver Surfer. If I bring uh, Nick Fury, he can do that fight pretty pretty easily. So, yeah. Hmm. All right. This will be interesting. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I believe we're already locked into Platinum 2, so we may not really push this time. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what uh, they say. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. So we're going to go in with a team that I don't think I've ever gone in with. We've got White Magneto, Nebula, and Archangel. I don't think... I'm trying to remember the last time I used Archangel in war. And I cannot remember it. But apparently he is a very good option for uh, at least two of these fights. So White Mags actually gets 
his pre-fights on, I think, three different uh, mini-bosses. So he was actually a really good uh, option to bring in. Uh, even though I did not use him in any fight, he was still very good. All right, so first you see this, and I want y'all to watch this. Y'all know we just need to parry heavy, right? That's all we need to do with him. Look at this. What was that? Remember what I told you guys with the input system? And it's almost always either a heavy or a special that I cannot evade out of. It's crazy. But he got his licks in, but it didn't matter. Archangel tore him up. But that fight should have been no, no damage whatsoever. All right, so the first mini, I don't like fighting uh, Longshot. He scares me, especially his uh, special two. So we put this on because of the masochism of the node. And now we're going to go in with Archangel. And because of masochism, uh, Archangel is actually a really good option for it, even if I didn't put on the pre-fight uh, for uh, White Magneto. But it makes the fight much easier. Watch. Bam. See? Even though it was masochism, I was able to stun him. Look at that. Love that uh, White Magneto pre-fight. All right? And all of this regenning, not going to help him. All right? So now I want to bait out this special one. And look at him. He's just ticking away. Look at that health. Fine, don't fire your special. <laughs> I don't care. He's almost half hell, halfway down now. You see he waited until the, the neuros went off and didn't fire his special. That's fine. And now you're done. So AI can do all it want. Archangel's still a beast. And my Archangel is rank three. Yes, he would be awesome at rank four, but... He does what I need him to do at rank three. All right, so um, I actually moved up to use up my energy and my alliance mate was able to take down uh, that mini. And I no longer have any minis I need to uh, worry about. Um, but I still put in some helpful work with White Magneto. All right, so we've got Nimrod. And you guys already know I'm going to use Nebula against this Nimrod. She is just really good against him. And as much as I am not really the biggest fan of her uh, style, you know, I'm more of an aggressive player. But you have to play somewhat defensively in the beginning. So I like that he fired his heavy because it let me build up some more. And as you can see, I'm trying to avoid getting hit because she has very bad block proficiency and so it would take a lot of damage even though I don't get hit. All right, so you can see I'm trying to push him back. I don't want to get caught in the corner, although I can evade his heavy uh, in the corner so it's not that big of a deal. And then see, look at this. Look at, look at my health as he's hitting into my block, okay? Just watch. He's not hitting me, just my block. Now, I'm trying to build up to my special two at this point. Okay, just look at this. It's just chewing away at me. All this time, I've taken away almost about as much health as he has just hitting into my block. It's crazy. She has very bad block proficiency. All right, so now that I have the special two, all I need to do is give him a good parry. Come on, bam. And then fire off that special two. And it's tick, tick, boom. Done. So that's pretty much how you play Nebula against these guys. Very straightforward. Um, I love the fact that she's shock immune. Uh, as well as bleed and poison immune. So she's actually pretty useful. And if they are not shock immune, she can tear them up. And guess who's not shock immune? Omega Sentinel. She's not shocking you. So what we're going to do here is pretty much the same thing that we did against that Nimrod. So 
We want to build up. Now, her heavy attack, I've gotten hit with it during um, me trying to evade. See, that worked that time. But that's how I get hit with her heavy. I try to evade. It doesn't. And I get hit with her heavy. So I'm very nervous. Look at my health. I just want you to look at my health. That's all I got to say. Look at my health. And you can't blame it on my um, recall masteries because she's immune to bleeding poison. So, all that damage. Look at this. I'm almost half health now between the two fights. And she hasn't even hit me. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and do that because I figured that should be enough. Bam. Done. Because I got nervous because I'm like, man, my health is going low. And all it takes is for the input to fail on me one time. And she's going to take me out. So I'm like, let me let me get this over with faster. All right. So you can see there, um, that mini is down. And we are looking good for this war. The final war of the season. Uh, if we win this war, we will be cemented into Platinum 2. All right. And so you can see here, I'm putting on the uh, pre-fight for Doom. But what you also don't see is I also put the pre-fight on for the boss as well. All right? So we'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we finished the season strong. We had moments where we were at the bottom of Platinum 2, and we actually pulled out a three-peat. Uh, we won the last three wars of the season. All right. Uh, let me show you guys here what uh, the final ones were. Hus Legend is a legend. All right. Um, one thing that has us a little bit concerned. Um, we had someone who was, according to leadership, dead weight. And they got kicked before the season rewards. And this was the first time that uh, our leader has done that. And the reason, uh, as stated, was not just dead weight throughout the um, season, people having to cover him and things like that, but the last straw, because he gave him the benefit of the doubt, the last straw was that he recently found out that he was employing Merc services. And he made this move to protect the group. Um, so we don't know whether it will work. We don't know whether um, he used a Merc for war. We're not sure. So we could get docked uh, because of him. It, it'll suck, you know, especially with all the work that we've been putting in and Everybody really trying hard to, to pull out these wins. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, he may not have used uh, the Merc for war. Uh, so hopefully we will stay in Platinum 2 and get our good rewards. Uh, rewards that the majority of us earned legitimately. He won't be earning any of those. All right, so that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.